caught on camera a white woman screaming at an African-American woman while shopping inside a New Jersey Victoria's Secret. The woman from Nigeria recorded another woman trying to hit her. But when the alleged attacker noticed she was being recorded, she had a complete meltdown, crying, yelling, and later claiming it was a panic attack from fear of the video being posted online and losing her job. When local police officers showed up, they told the African-American woman they couldn't escort her alleged attacker off of the premises. Victoria's Secret, will they release a statement following that incident. It reads in part, the video taken in our store is unsettling and we have initiated a full investigation. Our associates followed our protocols and immediately called our emergency operations center as well as mall security for support during the altercation between our customers. Dr. Laura McNeil is joining me now to talk about the legal rights of the African American woman who filmed, or the African woman who filmed the incident. Good to see you, Dr. Laura. I got to tell you, um, Short Hills, New Jersey. I used to live close to there. I used to shop at this mall all the time. Very affluent, affluent neighborhood. That mall, very upscale, very ritzy. Um, this woman uh, going off like this. Uh, not sure what she expected, uh, but tell us: Are there any possible criminal charges against the white woman? Yes, you know, that is what's so shocking about this case, because I can't tell you how many times I've been out in public, I've seen similar incidents, and I've always seen the person arrested uh, when they have physically tried to harm someone. And what we saw in this video, at the very beginning of the video, we actually see the white lady lunging. She's actually trying to swing and hit. Looks like she's trying to punch uh, the African-American woman um, in her face. And the fact that she attempted to do that in the state of New Jersey, that's called a simple assault. And what that means is she put her in imminent apprehension of harmful or offensive contact. Yeah, it's harmful if you're punched in the face or someone's swinging at you. That's offensive. And so in the state of New Jersey, that would cover six months in jail up to a thousand dollar fine. And so what's so shocking to me about this case and watching the video is not seeing these charges actually filed, actually allowing this white lady uh, to simply walk out of the store. I am actually baffled, to be quite honest with you, Laverne. Yeah, you know, I've been in that Victoria's Secret. Let me tell you, that brings new meaning to the semi-annual sale, I got to tell you. Uh, <laughs> but I just, I'm, 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 I'm Victoria's Secret put out as well. I thought it would have been a little bit stronger. But uh, tell me, was it legal for the black woman to record those interactions with police? You know, what's so sad is not only was it legal, but the fact that that's what we have to do to protect ourselves uh, in today's times. I mean, it's completely legal because based on uh, the communication laws, just federal and state, if there's not a there's not a reasonable expectation of privacy in a public place, uh, again, unless you're in a public restroom, uh, you can record someone because there's not, again, a reasonable expectation of privacy. So the black woman involved, or rather the victim in this incident, she was more than permitted to record the incident. And as she stated in her own words, she had to do so to protect herself because we saw in the video, uh, the white lady kept saying, she's threatening me. Um, at no point in time did we hear the black woman threaten this white lady. And you can imagine if she didn't have that video footage, sim similar to the George Floyd situation, uh, there would not be accountability for this white woman. And it's likely that the police officers would have believed her that she was threatened when she wasn't. And so it's just, this is such an alarming case for me because I know this happens so often. It's just, we're grateful that we have cell phone cameras now to capture the truth. But was it legal for the black woman to keep recording the white woman, even when the woman asked her to stop? Yes, you even can though still keep she recording. asked That's her what to I'm stop. asking. Yeah. No, absolutely. The question is, when someone says stop, do you have to stop? And what they have is New right. Jersey is considered a one consent state. So as long as one of the parties involved in the interaction uh, is consenting, which in this case, the black woman was involved, this lady was communicating with her, it's completely legal for her to keep recording. And again, even still, what, the, what they look at the court system, situational. Um, again, the bottom line, is there an expectation of privacy? So you can say, stop recording me, I'm on a beach, but you're on a beach. <laughs> so um, there should not be an expectation of privacy. And it's just, um, like yeah, I said- that's I'm, private property, isn't it? It's the I'm mall and it's Victoria's Secret. Is so isn't that private? Yes, the mall is private property, but there's not an expectation of privacy in a mall setting. It's still open to the public. And because it's open to the public in a general space like that, there is not an expectation of privacy.
Yeah, there isn't. No, sometimes there doesn't feel like there's privacy in Victoria's Secret because there's like creepy dudes in there. Sometimes I got to be honest. I got to ask you: Did the police follow the proper protocol in this case? You know, um, they did by showing up, but after that moment, uh, things really went downhill. Uh, the fact that the black woman repeatedly said, um, I didn't threaten her. She was, she lunged at me. She was chasing me around the store. I had to, you know, try to flee to get away from being harmed. And they should have asked the black woman, well, they should have asked her. They should have filed charges for assault based on the video footage. Uh, the black woman said, I have cell phone footage. It's all on tape. Uh, so they really should have filed assault charges against uh, the white woman, they should have arrested her. And I have to be frank with you, Laverne, uh, had the tables been turned, which is what the black woman was saying, what if I had attacked her, the black woman attacking the white lady, would she be? Would I be given the same concessions, the same kind of slap on the wrist uh, and allowed to simply walk out of the store? And the black woman said, absolutely not. And data supports that. Data supports that there are extreme racial disparities in how we are treated versus our white counterparts in those types of situations. That's why she had to film it, because she herself said, I got to protect myself. So, no, they did not follow protocol. They should have arrested uh, the woman that tried to attack the black woman in that store, and she shouldn't have been able to simply walk away. Yeah, it is going to be interesting to see what happens with this case. All right, thank you so much for your time. As always, we appreciate your perspective. Dr. Laura McNeil, our chief legal correspondent. Take care.